Howdy! How you doing? I'm Andy, this is Now Guitar, the channel where I teach you to play songs with your acoustic guitar so that you can play them without a band. I got a present for you. Come and grab it. It's a piece of paper. It's not a very good present. No, it's a great present. It's a song lesson guide and it's completely free. And I'm gonna be referencing this as we go and it makes everything easier for you. It's got the whole song form in it. It's a one page song guide is what it is. Description down below, first comment, grab it. You'll need it as we work through. Alrighty, you got the song guide. What do we do from here? Well, there's a few things going on. We got this cool octave to begin with. What's an octave, Andy, you ask? An octave is the next occurrence of any given note in an upward or downward direction. When you think of music going A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it's the next occurrence when you get back to that same note, whatever note you happen to be on. We happen to be on G here. Low G, high G. So, can get it with all downs, but smoother with alternate picking. Down, up, down, up, down, down. If you're fancy, you can do a slide. Just the first time, don't try and be too fancy, otherwise you might trip up. If you can do it without tripping up, awesome. You're pretty fancy. <laughs> then we got the keys. In come the keys. This bit's tricky. Do not attempt at home if you are a beginner. If you are a beginner, da, da, play your G chord, but here it is. You can find out if it is too fancy for you. What we've got is this organ line. So that is third finger, seventh fret on the G string, seventh fret, <laughs> second finger, B string, sixth fret. Seven and six we've got. Then we get a bar for the fifth fret, five and a five. And we bounce between those. Five, six, seven, five. And then finally, it's gonna be that same sort of shape, but this makes more sense to do this with our first and second fingers. Fourth fret G, third fret B string. Six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, five, six, seven, five, four, three. It's gotta be an easy way to say that. <laughs> Maybe humans aren't meant to verbalize tab. A little hammer on there, if you're feeling fancy. Obviously it's organ originally. There is no hammer-ons on organ, to my knowledge. Now, how do we fill this out? Unless you've got a two guitar set up, I'm getting the G. Remember this guy here from earlier? This is gonna be our drone. Unless you got crazy, crazy hands. I don't. That's really hard, Andy, I can't play that. Ah, I said that before, remember? I said it's not easy, that's why I can just So yeah, we're catching that with the first finger. No changes there, no changes here, it's now just barring three fingers. And then for this one, it's like we think of like an easy F chord. One, two, three, slide it up two frets, becomes three, four, five for your frets. If you're super, super fancy, I wasn't even doing this one because it's a little bit tricky, is get the little blues hammer on there from three to four. That's tricky to do amongst all this other stuff while you've got those bass notes ringing out. <laughs> Only the bold, my friend. Only the bold. C to G then. 
then no G to C G to C then G to C down down up up down G G C C C so that's your pre-verse and your verse. In other words, the bit before the vocals start and the bit with the vocals. And then it's got to go somewhere. Give me some loving. G, give me some. Got to do some power chord action here. B flat on the first fret A string. C. You can move this up two frets to C, or you could play regular old C. And then all the way up to sixth fret for E flat. And I kind of like to get these to ring out a little bit, so I end up getting, I end up barring that first finger. That gives us a sus two chord. Otherwise, Power chords aren't quite as rocky on acoustic guitar, are they? Sus2 chords. We nickel back it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to nickel back Give Me Some Lovin'. Never meet it as a blind man. <laughs> uh. Give me some lovin'. Give me some lovin'. So that is... Give me some lovin', give me, give me some lovin', give me some lovin', give me some lovin', give me some lovin', every day. There he is, our old friend the octave again. What am I doing there? This is very similar to the verse, except instead of just C, G, you can do just C, G. C uh, G, sorry, I was saying C, G, G, C, vice versa, flip-flop, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. We're gonna get a C with a G bass note. Ooh, that's cool. That's called an inverted fifth. You want to get a seventh string on there. Haven't got it though. Boom. Give me some loving. Give me some loving. So we take our C, third finger goes up a string, and our fourth finger goes where our third was. That to that. Otherwise, regular. GC. I just want to give you levels. There's levels to this game, said Conor McGregor. And he wasn't talking about guitar. But there is levels to this game. Gimme, give gimme give some laughing. Gimme, give gimme give some laughing. Every day. The whole form is on the song guide for you, so I don't need to work through it because it's there for you free. Go and grab it if you haven't already. Free song guide. My name's Andy. This is now guitar. Like it if you liked it, got some value out of it, and I'll keep on doing my thing. If you don't like it, then it doesn't get shared through the interwebs, and my red-headed self does not get revealed to other guitarists in the world, and I don't get to do hand gestures like Singers, I think singers do that, don't they? So, help me spread my hand gestures throughout YouTube and we'll both help each other. I can help you further with more song lessons. They come out each week, hit the subscribe button, help yourself out and of course hit the ding-a-ling, ding -a -ling bell, probably on that side. We're down underneath actually. And that will let you know when new lessons come out because the subscribe button doesn't really do anything now. That's kind of weird, isn't it? You now gotta hit two buttons. That was not super, super easy if you're a beginner or a somewhat intermediate, but that's why I gave you levels there. Everyone needs lots of easy songs so they can get together a repertoire and play a gig. How do you do that? With the Easy Songs Cheat Sheet. 
I created it for you. It's all my easiest song lessons compiled onto a sheet. You can see what chords are used on each of those and there's links to each of the lessons. Just try to make it as easy as possible for you to learn easy songs without having to go trawling around doing the hit or miss game. That's really what it is. It's to stop you playing the hit or miss game when learning songs. Go and grab it now in the description. My name's Andy, this is Now Guitar. Have fun playing your axe. Save countless hours searching for easy songs to learn and download my Easy Songs Cheat Sheet. Click the link in the description now to get it absolutely free.